Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the D-Rich Show, where we talk anything and everything crypto. Now, here's your host, D-Rich. Hey everybody, welcome to the D-Rich Show. This is D-Rich. Thanks for tuning in. How's everybody doing out there today? Today is January 20th, 2021. And today there's going to be some news. We don't know what the news will be, but anyway, on the channel today, we're going to be welcoming everybody in. Um, the new subscribers, old subscribers, those who've uh, just join the channel um, just go ahead and make sure you hit the like subscribe button as well as the notification bell so when I put out a video which will probably be Monday through Friday anywhere between 12 uh, p.m. and 1 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time so if you um, are tuning in thank you once again I want to thank my audience uh, for tuning in faithfully sharing the content I thank you so much uh, but anyway, we're going to get on to uh, this coin market cap and talk about it a little bit uh, before we get into the um, this show. Um, we're going to talk about the executive order. We're going to talk about XRP being halted uh, with some of your U.S. cryptocurrency exchanges or platforms here um, locally in the United States. And then we're going to also talk about, you know, um, one of... Binance nominees uh, yelling um, in a comment she made in regards to cryptocurrency. So it kind of gives you an idea uh, where we're moving. Um, anyway, Bitcoin is trading at $35,353. Ethereum at $1,362. Tether, again, um, I like to use Tether uh, to switch in and out of, of uh, currencies are uh, stable coins to purchase the assets that I'm looking for again polka dot is at number four it kind of cooled down a little bit fifteen dollars and ninety five cents um, down over almost six percent in the last 24 hours and our beloved XRP uh, trading at 28 cents almost 29 cents and it's uh, down um, a percent in the last seven days but anyway guys um, I don't need to tell you what to do with XRP but if you can, uh, try to get it because once it's off the exchanges, as we know, Coinbase has uh, halted their trading for XRP. Um, I do believe that uh, we'll uh, talk about other opportunities or ways to get to XRP um, that's outside of the United States. But anyway, moving forward um, with Cardano at $0.35 cents at number 6, number 7, um, Litecoin is still in the top 10 at $150 in Bitcoin Cash, $501.75. Chainlink, if you got that Chainlink in that portfolio, all the Link Marines, congratulations. Um, especially Crypto Mike, who's uh, been um, all about that uh, Chainlink at $0.70. Cents. So uh, go ahead and give him um, you know, a like and a subscribe and a follow. Um, microphone check. Um, but anyway, Binance Coin moved into the top 10. And again, guys, I always like to talk about those 10 and 11 because you got to get into that top 10 somehow, some way. And if you keep fighting, um, you're going to move on up. But anyway, I believe this has to do with the uh, burn of BNB um, trading at $41.87. And Stellar um, fell out of the top 10 at $0.29. Cents. Okay, so... Anyway, um, we'll, we'll see a lot of movement across the board. Looks a little red, looks a little dim and grim, but you know what? Get buying opportunities all over. Um, anyway, what I wanted to really talk about on this show today um, is this executive order on protecting Americans from over criminalizations through regulatory reform, which was signed into uh, law. Um, January 18th, 2021, and I'll go ahead and read some of it. You, it's a little lengthy, but I want to make sure that we point out some of the uh, most important facts. Um, whether you like the president um, that was in office for the past four years or not, 
Um, these are some important things moving forward when it comes to regulatory clarity, uh, re uh, deregulations, and things like that. Um, and I'll go ahead and get started. By the authority vested in me as president, by the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America, and to improve transparency with the respect to consequences of violating certain regulations and to protect Americans from facing unwarranted criminal punishment for unintentional violations of regulations. It is hereby ordered as follow. Um, number one, section one, purpose. In the interest of fairness, federal criminal law should be clearly written so that all Americans can understand what is prohibited and act accordingly. Some statutes um, statutes have authorized executive branch agencies to promulgate thousands of regulations creating a thicket of requirements that can be difficult to navigate and many of these regulations are enforceable through criminal processes and penalties. The purpose of this order is to alleviate regulatory burdens on Americans by ensuring that they have notice of potential criminal liability for violations of regulations and by focusing criminal enforcement of regulatory offenses on the most culpable individuals. So, you know, you put that with XRP, Ripple, um, this is kind of what uh, this executive order will help um, bring clarity to the table so when you think those regulatory clarities need to wait through a, a lawsuit um, being resolved um, just go ahead and read this and you'll get into uh, the gist of uh, some of this um, when it comes to regulations, deregulations um, things like that and as you know Ripple um, has been seeking regulatory clarity. They've been front and center um, with their approach. They've been transparent. Um, and this is what we um, admire. And this is why we attract to XRP, the cryptocurrency or and digital asset. Um, so at the end of the day, guys, read through this, go through it, share it, make sure that you understand it and understand that regulatory clarity um, is all in this um, executive order. Now, I do believe um, Brian Brooks recently said that we would have regulatory clarity um, in uh, short order, I believe in two weeks. Um, and I believe so too. Um, and I, I can tell you, uh, once that um, happens, uh, you'll, you'll be um, grateful to know uh, that uh, you stood by um, and held your assets. So anyway, um, I'll go ahead and leave uh, this in the description as always. Um, you go ahead and read through it. I'll scroll through it for you so you can try to get a better understanding of this executive order. Um, moving forward, um, I believe Kraken um, will be the last exchange in the United States to halt trading um, for U.S. users starting January 29th. And um, you know what? Like again... Coinbase has halted uh, transactions, so if you are um, a user of Kraken, uh, just to give you a heads up, January 29th at 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, uh, will they'll stop trading. But anyway, if you guys are looking to get XRP, you got Big uh, True, you have KuCoin, you got um, different type of um, exchanges like CEX.io. Um, uphold you know those type of exchanges that will continue to um, sell XRP because they don't believe that XRP is a security uh, neither do I so um, I do believe that it's a matter of time uh, before this uh, all comes to um, a head and we um, get what we're looking for so hang tight make sure that you hold to your uh, your, your position uh, don't be weak. Don't get shaken out because on the other side, uh, we're going to see, um, you know, an influx of funds and institutions come into the XRP space, um, probably at higher prices because um, they doubted it in the first place, which is a no-no. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to go ahead and share this uh this article with you from Crypto Briefing, 
um, yelling. Uh, crypto is used for terrorism, money laundering. And the reason why I want to go ahead and bring this up is because uh, it's important to understand a couple things. I'll go ahead and go over these pointers with you real quick. U.S. Treasury Secretary nominee Janet Yellen spoke against cryptocurrency today, highlighting its use in criminal activity. Yellen also advocated for a market-determined dollar rate and second round of monetary stimulus in Biden's term. Yellen's speech appears to have directly affected the markets. Now, understand, guys, um, I, I think that... Um, these people have a position to take and make comments to make people feel uh, inferior or that you know this is what it's for um, again do they not money launder the US dollar or paper money or is that paper money not used for terrorism as well um, let's not talk about the shitload of cash that was dropped off to Iran and things like that um, let's not talk about the bribes and things like that that these politicians are under um, by being, um, you know, paid off to do certain things. And this is why I hold steady, um, you know, in my belief. But anyway, um, during the confirmation hearing, Yellen raised concerns around the use of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency by terrorists and money launderers. Uh, she must be speaking about themselves. Yellen stated that she believes many cryptocurrencies are used, um, at least in a transactional sense, mainly for illicit finance. Well, you know what? Um, if she knew anything about the blockchain, um, all transactions are uh, made available for anybody to see. So um, if you are making transactions, even for those transactions or those um, exchanges that have been hacked, we can see where those um, funds or monies are moving along as far as one wallet to the next wallet um, and, and it's open for us all to see so anyway um, keep your eyes on the prize because these people want to come in and they want to try to shake you out of your position they want to make sure that you don't have nothing to do with cryptocurrency or digital assets um, they want to rob you from your wealth they want to tell you that things are not uh, going to be and they know that they've been probably buying it for themselves for a long time but anyway guys I want to just thank you again for always tuning into my videos um, please uh, hit the subscribe button the like button as well as that notification bell I'll leave some links in the description for you guys to uh, go to different exchanges like BitTrue, Uphold um, and things like that for you guys to you know register with different um, platforms to buy XRP or go to look for XRP not only that you have an opportunity to buy um, and store digital assets that are not you know on Coinbase or um, US exchanges in general so you know um, we'll be talking about different assets on this channel um, you know I'm a firm believer that you go after different assets that have value that will bring value um, and not try to always determine that they're shit coin. But anyway, um, just thanks for tuning in. God bless, take care, and as always, treat everyone with class, dignity, and respect. Bye-bye.